What's up with it, family? That boy can cook back in the place, back in your face. And as you can see by the title, today we're doing a chicken, broccoli, rice, casserole. Mmm, sounds good. I know it is. It's gonna be. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks to my family. Thanks to my subscribers for subscribing to me, showing me love, supporting me, rocking with me. Help me reach 100 subscribers. We don't do number go up. We don't do number go up. So the next goal is 100 subscribers. Help your boy get to that. We'll be right back to run over these ingredients for this chicken, broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. In a minute, y'all. My family, run down on these ingredients real quick. Of course, we're gonna have your chicken. I already um, poached the chicken, boiled the chicken. Uh, I just put a little salt, pepper in the water. I boiled it, a little olive oil in the water. I boiled it for about 30, 45 minutes till the chicken is done. Um, you can grill it, you can saute it, however you want to make your chicken. I boiled mine for this. I like it like that. Um, the velvety cheese, of course. We're going to use a whole block of the 16 ounce block. I got two broccoli. Broccoli. Crowns. I got two cups of rice already cooked. We have a one can of cream of mushroom soup, and we have one can of cream of chicken condensed soup. Of course, we got the salt, and if I haven't said it already, black pepper. And of course, you gotta have your pan. I'm using a tin foil pan. I'm not using the casserole. I have some extra ones, so we're going to do tin foil pans today. How you love that? All right, family. So I'm going to get everything situated. We're going to start out with cutting our chicken. Before we do that, forgive me. Before we do that, we're going to throw our broccoli, broccoli crowns into the boiling water here. We're going to let those blanch, let those get tender. We're not cooking them all the way. We're just letting them tender up because they're going to finish cooking in the oven as well as well as with the rice um i cook mine 90 percent done they're going to finish cooking in the oven as well once you mix it all together all right family we'll be right back we'll be back all right we're going to start we're going to drop our broccoli crowns into our water we're just going to let them blanch let them tender up and while i do that we're going to cut our chicken. And you can cut it how you choose to. You can shred it. You can dice it. However you choose to. I am going to cut mine in chunks. So, for this, this type of dish, this is how I like to do it. Perfect, nothing perfect, just as long as they chunks, bite size, you know, like so. But, like I say, it's your world, so however you choose to cut it, that's on you. You know what you want, you know what you like. There we go, let's put that back in the bowl. Right, let's get this. Some chicken, some chicken. Let's get this diced up as well. There we go. There we go. And forgive me, people, I didn't say I have two and a half chicken breasts that. I bought it off. So that's what's that's the amount of chicken I have. It's two and a half full chicken breasts. Not split in half, but full chicken breasts. Crowns, make sure 
They are all getting blanched evenly. Um, and with this, you, you just want to maybe three to four minutes. And that's pretty much what you want. Then you'll be able to feel when it's tender. And you'll be able to get the results you want so far as tenderness. So you can just check it to the tenderness you would like it at. All right, we're going to let these finish. And we're going to start mixing our mix. We'll be right back, family. Real quick, forgive me, I skipped the step. We want to cut our cheese before we start mixing everything. So let's get our cheese cut. And we're just going to cut it into chunks, squares. Let's get this cut up. And real quick, we're just gonna go down the middle, like so. And stick it. We're gonna go down the middle once again, like so. Put the knife. And it's just chunks like so, the cubes, like I said. So that way they all melt evenly, and we'll be back. Family, now we're ready. We have our broccoli. It's cooling. We already pulled it off of the, um, put it out of the water. We got it on the ice bath. We got it cooling. Stop it from cooking. So let's start our mix. And I have a bowl, a bowl small enough or medium sized enough, let me say. So I have to use my larger. But we're going to make it happen. We are going to make it happen. So now we're going to take our can of mushroom or cream of chicken. It's no specific order. Just going to get that in there. water you don't want it to be watery so be careful of how much water you add right and always remember family said so we don't cut ourselves we drop the lid inside like that that way when you take the trash out you pull the bag out and the blade uh, the top is sticking out it'll cut your leg and it'll cut deep so let's try to remember that for our family all right, now let's throw our cheese in here. Cheese. All right. Okay. And before we do the rice and broccoli, I want to give you a mix. Get this cream of mushroom and this cream of chicken broke down. Right 
Take our broccoli spears. We're just gonna cut them you know, like so. If you want them smaller, you can break them down smaller. Right. Just like so. Be simple. Just that easy, y'all. Huh? Oh, look at me. I got one out. There we go. All right. You didn't like the big ones? You want them smaller? You can cut them smaller. You know, just break them or cut them. It's your world. But you leave it whole. That's up to you. to season and taste. We're going to start out though with a, oh, what do I have? Let's do a whole teaspoon of shots. Let's see what we get from there. I know it ain't too much. You always want to start out with little and add. Because if you put too much, then you can't take it away. So, where's my pepper? All right. I'm going to do the same with the pepper. There it is right there. So, we're going to use a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of black pepper. And that's what it's going to be. Yes, yes. Let me make sure. I just mixed it. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Hey, one bullet. There it is. All right, family. The whole part is over with. So now, all we have to do is pan it up, pop it in the oven, bake it off, and we be ready. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Help your boy get to 100 subscribers. Send it to your people. 
Show the love. Share the love. We all can grow together. Build together. Don't forget. That boy can cook. We be right back. Just so y'all can get an idea, I already panned it up. And I'm just smoothing it out. And you also want to make sure your cubes of cheese is tucked under the mix. So, this is, you know, I'm pretty sure we all know how to put it in a pan and even it out. But just try to make sure that your cubes of cheese are pushed down. They're not standing, they're not sitting on the top. So, I just thought I'd share that with y'all real quick. And we're going to finish getting this all right. And I know that it, you know, you normally would put some cheddar cheese on top. And honestly, family, I totally forgot the cheese at the store. So, I say sometimes you just got to work with what you have so this is what it's going to be right here but it, it, it got to have enough cheese in it so it's just we're not going to have any cheddar cheese on top but it's still going to be delicious y'all you know there we go all right now we're going to put this in the oven and I'll say 350 for maybe 25 to 30 minutes. We're going to come back and check it and see what we have as a final product. So, there it is right there. Chicken, cheese, broccoli, rice, casserole. All right, family, let me put this in the oven and put it in with it before I drop it. Then I'm really be mad. All right, we'll be back, family. Right, family, now I pulled it out of the oven because what we're going to do, we're going to stir, make sure all our cheese is getting mixed in, and make sure it's well incorporated throughout our dish. So, I'm just going to... Give it a good mix. See how that lump of cheese is just in that one spot. There we go. We'll just make sure it's all incorporated. All right. As such. And as you can see, most of the cheese is already melted. So I am just going to smooth this out again. I'm going to put this back in the oven. It has 10 minutes left on it. So it was in there 15 minutes. I pulled it out, mixed it, and I'm gonna finish the last 10 minutes um, cooking it off. So like I said, I'm just smoothing it out here. And once I smooth it out, I'm gonna pop it back in the oven for those 10 minutes. And you know what it is then. We're going to pull this boy out the oven. We're going to plate it up, make it look pretty. We're going to give it a taste test. And we're going to have our chicken, broccoli, and cheese, rice, casserole. Just like that, family. Just like that. All right. So another 10 minutes. We'll be back, baby. Throw this boy in the oven. All righty. Don't forget, subscribe. Hey right, family, it is. It's kind of hot, but let y'all get a good look. There it is. There it is. All right, family, you know what this time it is. We're about to plate it up, make it look pretty, and then we're going to do a famous test tasting. We already know how it tastes, though, because we did our tasting before we popped it in the oven. So you know it's right, but we still got to taste it, baby. Right back at you. I know when y'all get chicken, broccoli, cheese, rice, casserole. 
Look at that. Creamy, not dry, flavorful. Get a bite of chicken in every bite. You get a bite of broccoli in every bite. You get a taste of cheese in every bite. All the way around the dish. Trust me. Let's see what it do. Well, we know. I'm just being greedy. I'm just being greedy. There it is. Mmm. One of my favorites, y'all. Mmm. Like, comment, subscribe to that boy can cook. Help me reach 100 followers, family. Because we're going to keep and keep and keep going. We don't quit. We only get better. To the next time, family. That boy can cook. Out the place. Out your face. I'm gone.